Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible these action figures look. Don't they look amazing? Guys, I can't wait to show you how great this unboxing was, how fun it was, you know, posing these figures, getting them added to our collection. This is an amazing set you're not gonna wanna miss and you're gonna wanna pick up if you have the chance to. So guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please follow us by clicking on the subscribe button below. Hit the bell next so you can get notified every time we have a new video come out. Guys, give us a big thumbs up and let us know, uh, talk to us in the comments below. Let us know what you're, where you're watching from, what you think of these figures, if you have some of these already, which ones you're thinking about getting. And so, yeah, I can't wait to hear from you. Let's talk. So guys, why don't we go ahead and get started? Right now. It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. This is Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Channel G. All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. You have no idea, let me adjust my camera here. I'm so excited to bring you the second wave of Black Panther action figures. Now, let me tell you, um, they're incredible. Look at this. This is uh, right here. This is the Mbaku Build-A-Figure set. He looks incredible here. And we have Black Panther, Eric Killmonger, Ulysses Claw, Black Panther, Obviously, this is the charge them suit, and this is just a normal suit. This is T'Chaka, his dad, and we have the Dora Milaje here. So the soldiers of uh, the royal court, right? That's really awesome. Now, this is different than the ones we've just done recently because the most recent Marvel Legends sets have had six figures with a Build-A-Figure um, piece, and then a seventh usually that does not have a Build-A-Figure piece. And if you'll notice who's missing here, I'm excited because we finally got him, him, and him. You know, we needed M'Baku, we needed this tactical Eric Killmonger, we needed Ulysses Claw, but we do still do not have a Marvel Legend of Shuri. Isn't that, that's a bit ridiculous if you ask me, because she was one of the coolest characters in the whole movie. Anyway, so we're going to move on. I do want to show you what this looks like. Take a look here. This is great for, again, Black Panther, the charge suit, Eric Killmonger, Ulysses Claw, Black Panther again, T'Chaka, and the Dora Milaje looks awesome. Check, take a look at the backs. Obviously, we're going to go more in depth with how these look, but my goodness, do these look so great. So, let's move on right here. Let's take a, a closer look. Now, first of all, the packages look outstanding. If you'll notice this, obviously, look at this great artwork. Um, before we go to the back, I just want to tell you real quick the back is different with the last few Marvel Legends sets that have come out where they've shown like an action actual pose versus like a pose of the action figure see but um, in any event there's still gorgeous packaging right gorgeous packaging from Hasbro so first up here and if you'll notice this one does not say Black Panther so that's kind of interesting this one says Avengers Infinity War because there was no actual Black Panther Infinity War figure and so does the very last one in this set, right? Look at that. So that's notable. That doesn't really blow our minds or anything, but obviously these would technically still fit with the Avengers Infinity War sets because that's how this one's packaged, except with the builder figure, M'Baku. Look at that great Avengers logo on the top as opposed to the Black Panther logo. So let's dive right on in um, to T'Challa here and so I really like this one because he's got this charged up suit. We have a head that we can swap out for him without the mask. And we have Umbaku's right arm. We do have some switchable hands. So that helps. At least we have these for accessories. Um, not like, you know, we're going to have to get there in a moment. But uh, in a moment we'll get to this Black Panther, which is basically a reissue of the exact same Civil War Black Panther, except this one's posed. And all he has is a switchable head. It's kind of like smirking and doesn't really look like T'Challa that much. But, um, you know, we'll take a look at that when we get there. So, first off, this Avengers Infinity War Black Panther with a charge suit. First of all, he looks great. Let's take a look at what this says back here for his rider. Look at this absolutely gorgeous action pose right there. 
So, let's take a closer look. Let's see what it says. It says, With the safety of Earth threatened by the powerful Titan Thanos, Black Panther joins the forces with the Avengers to protect the world from certain destruction. Absolutely. Look how great this looks. So awesome. Let's get him open. Let's take a look at uh, how great he looks. And these just came out. So if you're looking for these, these will be out for a little while. So let's set the, the box aside. And man, first impressions are it looks great. I love the way that purple looks, right? So let's get him on out of there. First, let's take a look at this Mbaku right arm, right? This dude was absolutely a beast. So we do have double joints there and we'll take a closer look. So that's great. Set this aside and let's take a look at our T'Challa. Let's bust his action figure on out of here. And right off the bat, you'll notice he's got a great mask here. He's got, I like the paint job. He's got right here where the nanobots store, right? A little bit of chipped paint right there, but that's okay. He's got this extra butterfly joint here, which means you can actually, like we've talked about in the past, pose him with that um, um, Black Panther arms crossed with the claws, right? Doesn't that look awesome? Look at that. Let's get this out of the way and let's take a look at that. Look. It was absolutely sick. We can pick the head up and do the same thing. Look at that. So, it allows us to bring the arms further in and further out than they would normally. Look at that. So, this is one of my favorite uh, things to have in, in an action figure is to make his movements more realistic. So, it looks absolutely great. So, of course, we got great movement here on the shoulders. We have movement over here above the bicep. We do have double jointed elbows, so that's great. So we can bring that up close. The wrists move beautifully. The fingers are softer than you would anticipate. Look at that. So um, that'll absolutely keep them from breaking at least, right? Look at this absolutely gorgeous um, claws and face and look right here. That looks so awesome. So. Let's try to get a picture in right here. Let's bring this arm just a little bit higher. Look at that. Looks outstanding. Okay, so let's take a look. We have ab crunch. Awesome. Look how far back and forward he goes. Man, really far back and forward. That's awesome. And it still um, uh, holds up well enough. It's a little loose, but it, since it clicks, it, it at least holds that in place. So that's good. Um, we have good tight um, hip joints right here. Good, look at that. That's awesome. Um, we got great mobility here that turns on the high part of the hip. Um, great knee joints. This is a figure made with love, at least I'll say that. Um, he does not move on the high part of the shin, even though it almost looked like it for a second. Uh, and then, let's see, the ankle moves great. Back and forth, side to side. And look at the suit detail. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Compare that to um, the... Uh, Standard figure from Infinity War, I'm sorry, from Civil War, right? Similar, but not the same. So, looks great. Love the way this guy looks. Great mobility. And, um, let's see, actually, the, his head goes as far back as we would like it to go. So, this is outstanding. Really far down. And then, goes forward and back like that. Turns. This is just great 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 action figure look at the the muscles that were defined on his back you definitely got to have this guy on uh in your collection so let's see if we can't get a really exciting action pose well let's take a look at uh his the head that you can swap out right here so looks all right looks pretty good looks like we have a little we have a scratch for some reason or some little artifact across his eye so I'm sure we can probably get that off if we buff it out a little bit. Not sure why I got that, but you know, this head looks all right. Um, pretty good head sculpt. Not amazing, but good. Good beard, I like that. And then we have um, this here that we can swap out. Um, let's see if he has claws. Uh, no, not painted claws. If he does, you can't see him. So put those back. I'd love to stay with the open uh, animal claws and let's see if I can pose this guy right here. 
All right, so I'll say, here we go. This is pretty outstanding right here. Good enough for me. I think it looks amazing. Let's bring him in a little bit tighter right here. Look at this. Let's bring the arm maybe a little further out. Oop, nah, let's have it a uh, little out like that. Let me tell you, he looks absolutely outstanding. Look at that. He looks great. Yeah, buddy. So let's set him up right on over here. And I think he looks absolutely outstanding. Maybe let's turn him in just a little bit more. Look at that. Yes! All right, and let's fix our camera just a little bit again. <laughs> Sorry, I keep messing with it. But yeah, let's move on. Let's see who we got next. Yeah, next we have Eric Killmonger. And man, this is an amazing looking action figure. Look how great he looks. The head sculpt, the mask, the gun, that tactical gun. We have M'Baku's head with his staff here. Just looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at this great artwork. It's not the same picture on the back, which is what we've experienced with the recent Marvel Legends releases. Beautiful packaging, look at that. Isn't that amazing? It just looks so outstanding. All right, let's take a look at what the back says here. This says, Seeking vengeance for his father's exile from Wakanda. Eric Killmonger returns to challenge T'Challa for the right to the Wakanda throne. Absolutely. Gorgeous package and absolutely great villain. Or should I say antagonist, right? And yeah, absolutely. He, in his mind, he's a hero. And look how great, just amazing this action figure looks. Let's pull this Mbako head out. And let me see. I hope this little, oops, sorry. I hope this little slice didn't happen right now when we were pulling them out. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Oh my gosh. I guess we're just too close. There we are. But um, nonetheless, this action figure head looks amazing. Ooh, the chala fell back there. But great detail. Love the way they did this head sculpt. Looks outstanding. So we'll set that aside. And then we have, of course, his staff right here this club whatever you want to call it looks amazing Oof. and let's set him aside let's fix my t'challa back here if he's not gonna stand up whatever okay so um let's get our eric killmonger on out of here out a bit and I can't wait to take a closer look at this guy he looks absolutely sick oof so we can't um, hold the wrist because it's a little tight right here definitely don't want it to crack off and it's not moving why did I want to move the wrist first of all right away because it was in an awkwardish position look at this one Looks like it's already popping off Try to push that further back in there. There we go. This one we were able to move. Uh, you know, okay, it's nice and tight, obviously. Let's see if we can move this one without breaking it. Because it looks like... Uh, not doing too good, my friends. Let's go forward instead. Still not. Ugh! Alright, so for now I'm going to leave it. As long as I got it pushed in there. Man, the watch is loose. Um, that's what we've seen a lot of with our Marvel Legends action figures. The accessories are loose versus put on there. You could have at least glued it. I guess I have to glue it myself. But uh, nonetheless, this action figure looks outstanding. Let's take a look at this head sculpt first of all. Um, looks like I have a little bit more plastic that I'm going to have to like kind of file out of there. We're not going to do it today, but we'll end up filing that out of there in case you're wondering how we can get that out. This beautiful hair. Awesome. The way they did that sculpt right there right great uh, face sculpt there look at this gorgeous suit man a lot of love went into this tactical killmonger a lot of love look at that this is a another must-have action figure look at this they did not cut corners on him did an amazing job look at the camo pants look at the boots 
absolutely gorgeous. This does not come out, but oh, look, the belt does come off. Do you want the belt to come off? No, but it's cool because you might be able to put this on a different action figure if you wanted to. You know, obviously make your own modifications. But let's put this belt back on. There's a little like clip right there. Um, there we are. So let's see what sort of mobility we have. We have tight clicking shoulders, that's awesome. They move really well in and out. Look at that, awesome. We have double jointed elbows. Let me zoom out just a little bit so it's not so tight in here. Cool. We have great moving forearms and wrists. This one's a little tight, but obviously we have a great looking watch right there. Great sleeves, great pants. Uh, the hips are nice and tight, awesome. Uh, Man, this is a heavy duty, look at that. Knee joint, extra heavy duty. So that's good, so that's not gonna be wearing out anytime soon. Great mobility there. Let's see, there's no movement here on the lower part of the leg, but uh, the boot uh, has some pretty darn good mobility. Not amazing forward, but it moves well backward, and it definitely pivots well. So great job there. Let's give him his weapons here. All right. And let's see if this mask goes on. Let's take a look at this mask. All right, so look how amazing this mask looks. It could look, it looks like it might just pop on after all. There we are, look at that. Marvel 2018 Hasbro. So, great looking mask, look at that. Great looking detail, looks pretty good. Obviously it's a the color scheme isn't perfect, but it looks really good nonetheless. And it looks like we could probably just pop it on there. Look at that. Probably have to lean his head a little bit back because it doesn't like just pop on. Wow, it actually fits a lot better than I thought. It didn't just fly off. But it looks cool. I actually think he looks better without the mask. And let's give him his tactical weapons, right? Let's see. Let's put this one in here. Put his finger on the uh, on the trigger look at that and let's give him this gun right here oops looks like I knocked the belt off on accident let's just get that all up in there let's see if we can get his finger to go right there in the okay I was gonna okay can we make sure yes it does go in there all right let's pull the finger out this way and for some reason it's not going in there. So we're gonna help it out a little bit. Now, I don't recommend using a knife. I already poked myself right now. <laughs> but nonetheless, there we are. And move this wrist. I'm just gonna allow, there we go. Soft pressure while pushing in. That looks great. And yeah, let's get this back on. Pop that right there in that slot. And let's get him with a really good action pose. He probably doesn't need to be super dynamic. He just needs to stand really strong like that. Didn't even need to do anything super crazy. Let's just make sure we got him like his feet firmly planted on the ground in a strong stance. Let's take a look at that. Tell me that doesn't look amazing as it is right there without doing anything like super outrageous. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Great, look at that. Yeah, so I'm extremely satisfied with that. Let's zoom out, let's move over here back by T'Challa, right? Look at that. And we have one with this ridiculously amazing dynamic pose. We're gonna go ahead and put this back in the box so we don't lose it. And we're going to move on to our next figure. So next we have Ulysses Claw. And look at the spelling. Okay. Looks incredible. I absolutely love this actor. He did just amazing as Claw. And you know what? The way they kind of changed him around from the comic book character. I was never a real big fan of the cheesy red suit Claw character. But man... Has our friend here done an amazing job with this character? We're used to so much motion capture, right? As he was, you know, in Planet of the Apes. 
as Caesar and as Smeagol, right? Um, and Lord of the Rings, but yeah, Gollum. And so many more, King Kong, so on and so forth, but he did an amazing job as Ulysses Claw. And unfortunately had to get, you know, offed at the end, right? But nonetheless, I really like what they did with this character. Like he's got two different hands. And we'll take a look at that right now. So, let's see what the back says over here. It says, Ulysses Claw, an arms dealer obsessed with vibranium. Ulysses Claw infiltrates the secret nation of Wakanda to steal the sacred metal and sell it for a hefty profit. Yeah, buddy. Man, he looks great. So let's get this bad boy on out of here. Take a look at our Mbaku go to figure piece, which is his body. Look at that upper and lower body without any of the extremities. This is this great outfit right here, right? From his tribe over there in the Wakanda, right? The Jabari. Feel the wrath of the Jabari. Looks great. Set that aside. And let's take a look at our good buddy here, Claw. Come on. Let's get him right on out. Wow, look at that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> look at that. Now, it's curved because it was in the plastic. Otherwise, it wouldn't be curved. But um, there we are. I wonder if this moves anymore. No, it doesn't. So, look at this great head sculpt, right? And he's got all sorts of scars and blood. Look at that. Looks awesome. He's got his little vest here. His collar is a little loosened with his tie loosened. And look at his, um, his great, oh, this wrist goes sideways and around. His tattoos right here, his ring. Yep. Look at that. See if we don't have a neck tattoo. Uh, yep, he's got like these suit pants going on. So let's see, we got great mobility. Turning right here, look at this. Uh, we do not have amazing mobility in the arms as it barely comes close to a 90 degree angle because right here, because of the sleeve. Same thing here, looks like we can only move that much further. Obviously because of the arm, we're gonna be okay with it as long as we can shoot it, look at that. So, I'm cool with that. Uh, let's see. Anything else we need to look at here? So that it doesn't open up just slightly a little bit more, but that's all right. Um, let's see. We got movement at the at the waist sideways, but no crunching, ab crunching. Let's see. We got um, some tight knee joints, so that's good. It moves in the upper part of the thigh, so that's good. And then we have these almost like the suit pants that we've seen with other figures like Nick Fury and... Uh, uh, Iron Man, right? Tony Stark. The shoes move good. These dress shoes. And I'm really digging this figure. He looks so great. Let's see. Head mobility. Doesn't go very far back because it's restrained right there. Moves decent amount down. So it's got decent articulation there. Let's take a look at these, this other arm and this gun. Let's see what we got here. So first of all, the gun looks cool, right? Look at that. And then let's take a look at this arm. So it has uh, nothing special, except these lines obviously where it would open up, but obviously, so you don't have to have this all the time, you can replace it with that one. So it's really cool. We'll go ahead and leave that arm on, and let's get a really great action pose then. Okay, let me put the rest of these away so I don't lose it. And let's go ahead and put the gun right here in his hand. And once again, because we have the trigger finger out, let's see if we can put that right on in there or at least around there. Look at that. That'll work. And let's turn this so he can be firing it off, right? Too bad it's a little bendy, but there we go. Nice. Let's give him kind of a wider stance and let's, let me set him up good. Okay, so here we go. And so Andy Circus, that's his name. He looks amazing. Now I think they could have given him slightly bigger legs instead of just popping on the standard suit legs because, you know, Andy Circus is a he's a, you know, he's a hefty guy and not fat at all. He's just, you know, he's built like a truck. And you see 
you know, he's a little bit muscular. And because of that, I think we could have given him, you know, slightly more muscular legs so it could offset the way his trunk looks in this um, vest. But nonetheless, this action figure looks outstanding. I will give it an outstanding rating. Let's see if we can get him to stand up right on over here. Oops. Without leaning against our backdrop. And it's... There we go. Not working, but it worked now. Look at that. Yes! I'm digging that. We have him kind of like bracing for the impact of that shot. Look at that. Yeah. Let's move on. Doesn't that look so great? Okay. Let's move on to our next action figure. Let's straighten this out. So next we have Black Panther. This is the one that's marked for the movie. He does not have uh, the charge suit. He has the standard suit. As I mentioned before, it looks like just redoing this same one from Civil War. So let's get him on out of there. Not sure how I feel about that smirky face, but let's take a look. You know, gorgeous packaging, of course. Gorgeous Black Panther packaging. Look at that. Let's take a look at what it says back here. Great action pose there. He looks very, like, man, scary almost because he looks like he's really on a mission. So it says, Black Panther, after the death of his father T'Chaka, T'Challa must assume the Black Panther mantle as the next king of Wakanda. Yeah, buddy. It was claws. Can't say that enough. No, this is a great character. Let's get him on out of here. So if, obviously, if you don't have him from the Civil War. This is a great action figure for you to get. But um, since we do, it's a little disappointing to have the same figure twice, basically. They could have put different accessories in here, maybe different hands, you know, something. But nonetheless, here we are. Let's take a look at M'Baku's other arm. You know, it's basically a mirror image of the other one. Almost, look at that. So, set that aside. Both hands open. Let's take a look at T'Challa. I'm not super impressed with this head sculpt. Looks a little funky. Now it does resemble him, but it doesn't look amazing, I would say. And we have a little artifact that we're gonna have to file down in there under the eye. Okay, so I'll put that one back. Because we definitely wanna keep him in the mask again. Let's pop this bad boy out. Let me just say, first of all, this action figure looks great. Look at this. He's got good, tighter ab crunch than the other one we had. And just beautiful head sculpt. Look at that. I'm sure his, good, all his joints are still tight. See how far back we can get this head. There we go, I had to rock it a little bit. We have really good mobility in the neck. And I'd rather it be a little bit tight than loose. So that's awesome. Uh, we do not have that extra butterfly joint. So it is... No, it is. It is the same figure. So I thought the other one had a butterfly joint. But no, it's just our previous one. So, um, man, I don't know what's going on here. Look at that. Got a blemish. So this arm goes all the way around. Good movement above the... The bicep here, we have double jointed arms, so uh, on the on the elbows, so that obviously allows us to bring the arms closer. The the claw is actually a little bit cl more closed than I would have hoped. That might be from being in the package pressed against up against the plastic. So um, these fingers are a lot softer than the one we have for Civil War, and the claw has remained better intact. Look at that. So Civil War is winning out right now. Because it's basically the same figure except in better condition. So, um, great ab crunching. Uh, great waist movement. Um, nice and tight uh, hip joints. Great articulation here and the knees with the double joint. And then amazing ankle movement here. So this is an outstanding figure. You know, no complaints about that. I just wish his hands weren't smushed like that, but look at this. This looks like, uh, you know, obviously almost identical figure. So we've already said that several times. But, uh, 
I was like, okay, so this is Civil War. Let's see what it says down here. 2016 on our Civil War action figure. And let's see if our new one, what year it says. So that goes here, obviously. 2016. And moving our new one in here. It says 2016. So it looks like they may not have even done really anything different. They just pulled the mold out of the library, popped it back on the conveyor belt and said, we need some more of these. So anyway, the wrist, oh, this wrist is a lot looser than I would have liked. Moves around. It's still an amazing action figure. You absolutely need it if you don't have it. And I will say that the slight, slight differences, um, the Civil War one is better, but you need this one to make them Baku. So let's just throw that out there. So let's get him with a really outstanding action pose, right? Let's have him like coming at you, creeping on the low. So let's see what I can do here. Okay, great. So I was almost tempted to get almost the same pose. You know, maybe I should have him doing one jumping. We'll do that one in a minute. But um, man, just yes. Look at that. So let's um, let's let's get him going right here, and let's take a look at our next figure, right? And this look awesome. So. All right, let's set him back up over here. There we are. And there we go. Looks great. All right, let's see our next figure. We have T'Chaka. And T'Chaka looks awesome. Now, uh, I don't know about him fighting with all this, but obviously he's not intending to fight. I don't see any accessories. I would have loved some accessories, like maybe his own head sculpt, whatever. Oop, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's close this back up. And let's take a look at the box. Got a little too excited. Wanted to open them already. Um, beautiful box art. Different, oh, it's the same picture from the side and front. And let's take a look, see what it says right here. T'Chaka, as king of Wakanda, T'Chaka assumes the Black Panther identity and with it, the responsibility to protect the sacred metal vibranium and the honored history of his kingdom. Wow, look at that awesome Black Panther suit, right? Outstanding, let's get him out of here. Let's take a look at this bad boy and see what we got up in here. So, second to last Build-A-Figure piece, right? This is our left leg. And so, what year is this showing right here? Doesn't. But looks cool. We got double joints right here in the knees. And looks like it's going to be pretty awesome. So let's set that aside. And let's take a closer look. Obviously, this is not Eric Killmonger's suit. It is similar because of the gold, but it is not the same suit. So it looks really cool. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So let's see. Does this come off? It does. Interesting. We'll take a look at that in a second. So we've got what appears to be the exact same articulation as our T'Challa figure, right? So it doesn't have that extra butterfly joint, but really cool movement, right? Movement right here above the bicep, double joints in the elbows, great paint job, the gold. Um, but he's wearing pants and not like suit legs. So that's interesting. I would have thought he'd be wearing, you know, if he has this vibranium suit top, why would he be wearing like leisure wear bottoms? But in any event, he's got strappy boots and looks like his Black Panther shoes. What are those, right? So um, let's take this off and just take a look. Let's see, it snaps right here. And it does come right on off. Cool, okay, good. I was afraid it might be permanently on. So we do have great ab crunching here, look at that. Great movement at the waist. We've got some good hip and joint movement right here. High part of the thigh. 
we do have some pretty good um, joints right here at the knees. This one does move at the boot. Look at that. So nice heavy duty knee joints. Moves here at the boot and then moves back and forth right here. It's got that almost like um, animal toe right there for the feet. And so it looks really cool. I'm just curious why doesn't he have uh, and obviously maybe because he's got the ceremonial um, outfit on right there but maybe that's why the pants but interesting. But he looks outstanding. Uh, we got a plane or something passing, a helicopter, so give me a second. <laughs> Sorry, not sure if you could hear that, but it was loud over here. Okay, so, but let me just tell you, amazing mass sculpt. Look at that. Look at that. And I didn't even notice these little, like, white accents right here. Isn't that awesome? The nose accent, everything. Cheekbones. Really digging this figure. He looks great, actually. Let me tell you. Looks outstanding. And so this one... We're not gonna have him in this really weird, crazy action pose because he is the king and he's just standing tall right now as opposed to seeing him swinging in action. So let's put his arms down and just have him looking really like, just really strong Look at that. So yeah, fierce with those claws, look at that. And his wrists do move back and forth pretty well and around, both of them. So yeah, we'll just have him standing up strong so he looks a little different from our T'Challa, just to differentiate him. And let's put his ceremonial suit back on. Let's make sure we have it on the right, correct side, right? And let's just snap these bad boys back into place. See if we can get everything going good. And I think it looks amazing, right? Look at that. So let me make sure I get him standing up good. Give me one second. Okay, so we have him standing up nice and tall and strong. Look at that. Just a simple pose. Don't underestimate what it says about just standing tall and strong, right? So, let's set him up right on over here. Right next to his son. Let me tell you how awesome he looks. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Nice. Okay, so we got one more figure and then our build a figure. So, okay, so last but not least, we have the Dora Milaje, and I actually thought this was Okoye from afar when I first saw it. And why? Because they have similar outfits, they have similar, the shaved head, but it's not. It is not. Actually, it's supposed to be like that royal guard, right? But it looks like we had several. These are all different head sculpts. So we could have several different warriors without having the same head. So if we bought this figure several times, we could actually have our Okoye build a figure from the first wave. We could have Nakia, who's wearing a similar outfit. And then we could have these three all different if we bought two more of these figures and we could have them all look like the warriors, right? So got different color um, handles for the hand right here. And then we have this big spear. But Lots of great accessories for this. Love this action figure. Let's uh, take a look at this art on the side. See, it's, you know, the guard. Look at that beautiful detail right there. And look at that. Never even noticed that. It's got like a panther symbol. So let's see what it says back here. This was the first one to come out, and it was out before all the other ones in this wave. So the Dora Milaje are an all female special forces group prepared to defend the Black Panther and the people of Wakanda at all costs. Look at that amazing spear weapon right here. Look at this great suit. Awesome. So let's get her on out of here and let's get our last Build-A-Figure piece for M'Baku. So set that aside. And oh, I know I mentioned this earlier, but this one says Avengers Infinity War. Marvel right there. It does not say Black Panther, so it's interesting to note because we didn't have to say that, so I thought that was interesting. Let's get these on out here. And that's kind of cool too, because obviously she can't hold all these weapons all at once, but what a great opportunity to have different weapons for if you swapped out heads and had multiple of these figures to make a little army. So that's totally a thing. Get that out of here. Let's get that over here. Well, let's get our those figures this out. So here's our other foot. That this one does have the date on there. It says 2018. Set that aside. Let's get her. 
pop her on out of here. We don't want her to get stuck, but look, the bottom part of her outfit is over here. So let's pop her out to the middle because I don't want the head to get stuck and it gets scratched like the other figure. There we go. Let's push this out. And let's take a closer look. So, got a great head sculpt. Look at that face. I'm assuming it's a tattoo. Looks awesome. Looks fierce. Look at those. She's those, you know, eyebrows scrolling, scrolling down right there, right? A little scowl. So we've got great movement. Um, obviously, this arm isn't going to move too far. Well, I guess it will. Look at that. I was afraid it was going to pop off, but um, it's obviously attached down here. So we do have good movement on the shoulder despite having that. We have excellent movement on this side. And we have almost a standard um, female body from Marvel Legends, but except this one. Look at this ridiculous articulation. It normally doesn't move this much for a female character. So we have this, which is, is it attached? It's not, but it's set up in a great way so that it fits snugly right in there. We got um, really good, well, pretty good um, joint tightness right there on the hips. We got double jointed knees, so for good articulation. Um, moves in the high part of the thigh, does not move on the lower part of the leg, but it does have good um, articulation of the ankles and feet. So that looks and feels great. And let's take a look at the other heads and the other spear. So pop them on out. Now let's see which head we like the most. So we have this one here, right? With another, oop, we have an artifact right there. With another um, tattoo right above. Oh my gosh, <laughs> beneath the eye. Different head shape, different head sculpt, right? We have this one that does not have tattoo. And then we have this one. And they're all different, look at that. Which one do you wanna have on here? I think I kinda like this one, but we'll leave this one on for now. Put these back in here. So, put these back in here. Ah, man the better because I'm gonna lose one of them so there we go set that aside for now and yeah let's get her all set up um, let's put one of these right here in her arms thumbs kind of back that's kind of weird maybe it's just because of the plastic no I guess not it's just weird back ish so let's put this in her arm let's put her thumb behind it and let's have her, she's supposed to hold both of these, but do we want to have this spear instead? Because she needs both hands for the spear, the way they, they move it. Or we need both hands for these rings, right? So let's just do this. Let's have her just standing here. Just to look, you know, obviously she can't use both, but she'll look cool holding both. So what are your thoughts? if I can get her posed so that she'll stand up. Well, she's doing it well there, let me tell you. She looks super fierce. So yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's bring this down. There we go. It's that simple. So let's set her up right over here. And she's right here protecting our king. There we go. Doesn't that look amazing? All right, let's move on to the part you've been waiting for or skipped forward to. <laughs> it is our Mbaku build a figure. So let's get him over here. Look how great this is gonna look. Okay, let's get our arms, our head, this part of our body. And let's make sure we have the legs on the correct sides because they look, don't look like that from there. So, and we have our club staff dealy right here so look at this great head sculpt let's pop that right on on here that, too bad we don't have a write-up for Mbaku right and that was a pretty crazy little battle that he had with T'Challa at the beginning of the movie look at that this comes off okay and it's got a little peg for it to go into so let's put that back on in there before we put the arms so this is the left arm look at that 
There we go. Okay, cool. Make sure that's nice and snug in there. Oop, well, I guess let's take this off then. Make sure this goes in there till it snaps. It didn't snap, but it seems better in there. Let's do the same here. Let's just turn till we're sure it's in there well. There we go. And let's put these on his leg, uh, his legs on the upper part of his thigh. And it's hard to gauge whether or not they're in there all the way because it's obstructed by this. So. There. Feels like it's on pretty well in there. And wow, look at that. So let's take a look and see what sort of mobility we have. Then we'll put this back on. Okay, so for the head, we have some pretty good movement and it goes really far down and pretty decent up and moves good side to side. The arms move all the way around. We do have double joints right here on the elbow. So that's great and it moves above the bicep. It actually does move up further than you would think because this is restricting it, but this opens up a little bit to allow for it to come up. So got some great movement despite the fact that we have these obstructing it um, look at that we have good wrist movement back and forth obviously it's obstructed by this but it does move forward and turns uh, great movement on the arms he does ab crunch back and forth not so far forward but tons back for when he's given a big call right move side to side up here and not at the waist because he can't with all this going on here. This does move at the high part of the thigh, you just can't really see it, so you can turn the legs. Um, you got a double joint at the knees, which you're probably not really gonna need, since this is a, a thick plastic, and double layered here. Um, his little house slippers looking, <laughs> boots obviously, they're made of animal fur. They do um, move pretty well. They do not move down here, and obviously you're not gonna need ridiculous articulation, because it's just a big, you know, bulky buff dude, but he looks incredible. Let's see if we can get him to stand well. Let's stand him straight up. Let's get him going here. And let's put his jacket on here, or his fur. There we are. And let me get him posed really well. Give him one second. All right, and so we have him looking really fierce here. Let's have him you know, yes, talking, obviously we could have him scowling or something that would look really awesome, but nonetheless, Mbaku looks great. So let's set him up like that, and yes, look at this, it's absolutely wonderful. So let's set him up over here. And let me just say, man, do these figures look great. Look at that. Guys, I wanna thank you so much for joining us here today. I had a lot of fun with you with this Wave 2 The Black Panther action figure set from Marvel Legends, Hasbro. Looks so incredible. The only thing I wish we had was Shuri because with Wave 1 and Wave 1 part of Wave 1B, we had that two pack with Agent Everett Ross and another Killmonger but we're still missing Shuri. So hopefully she comes out at some point. I'm sure she'll come out in Endgame and we'll have finally have an action figure with her. But nonetheless, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to us, please follow us by clicking the subscribe button below. Hit the bell next to it so you can get notified every time we have a new video coming out. And guys, let us know which one of these figures that you like the most or which ones do you have? Where are you watching from? We'd love to see that. So guys, until next time, thanks for watching. Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G.